bevo.com. So what should a marketing executive now be doing and over the next few years to make sure they really sort of maximize the potential that the virtual worlds are clearly going to offer? For a marketer, then, there's the, the opportunity in many cases to say, sell real world objects in that environment. Today is, is, is still very early, but the marketing relationship that you build with customers is quite different in a virtual world because, of course, the rules of the environment are substantially different. People have a lesser tolerance for sort of simplistic unidirectional marketing. The idea of having a prototype conversation with your customer or of adding value in some way to the environment and then asking for <coughs> the uh, you know asking for an audience in return is something that is a new idea and I think marketers would be well advised to at least play around a little bit in virtual worlds and see if they can get a feel for what's likely to be very important to them in a few years time. So I watched an interview with you um, a while ago just talking about sort of you know what the what internet marketing guys on uh, virtual worlds shouldn't do and that is just to chuck up a billboard and say hey done that you've got to actually really add community value. So what is sort of one or two of the coolest things you've seen uh, marketing companies doing in Second Life? Well, marketers have done things like build, for example, objects which they're gi giving out or selling in the world that uh, really add value to the world as well as having a marketing function. An interesting example of that was uh, one of the Harry Potter films was uh, very substantially assisted and, and you can look around and see some of the references on this, see the, 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 the film company talking about it, by a campaign in which they gave people the avatars, the likenesses of the, the, the different characters in the, in the Harry Potter film. And before the film was released, they just let people, whoever wanted to basically, walk around Second Life as these characters and talk about the characters in the upcoming film. Now if you think about it, this is something which is delightful, both for the community and the filmmakers. You know, you're actually, you know, standing somewhere in Second Life, you know, having a conversation and somebody walks up and they're actually this character that you recognize from Harry Potter. And I mean, what an amazing experience. And so then you're talking to them about, you know, well, how did you get that? And they tell you, what, well, you know, the, either this was a pre-release or whatever of the film. And, you know, we're, we're showing people what's going on. So, you know, that's an example where the whole experience is one that is bi-directional and, and beneficial for both parties. People are having a fun time interacting with this content, so to speak, in, in some cases by literally being it uh, for others. And, uh, you know, that was something that, in, in the case of that film, actually, uh, according to the filmmakers, had a very substantial impact on the release uh, performance of the film, just because it was so fascinating, and the people who got to see those characters went out and, you know, went to the film and then told other people about it. Bevo.com <laughs>